Again, he'll drop to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there for the Raiders. A lot of running backs in the passing game. They're just used to checking down to them, maybe dumb back passes. This guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, Wheatley gets by him, and now a little daylight. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 42 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. There are a lot of guys playing this game. There's no runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. On second down, Wheatley. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A 12-yard touchdown run. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. From the Green Moore partner prior to that drive, they sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Now the Raider offense will stay out there as they line up to go for two. They're going to try and run. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try. Miles an hour. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a leader touchdown. A great play there. The second touchdown of the afternoon. Now, Marino. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. And it is caught at the 10-yard line. A big play there on the first play of the game. Well, he's been doing this for strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And for a while, when this play's open, all the talk was about punt hitting the Giants. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Marino on play action. It's Hill complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And here we are. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second. They've got his man complete. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick. Now it's Marino. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it to 